Hey, how's it going? Johnny Graham here. A couple of top tips for you this month. The one I want to give you today is how do you write a CV for a sales job in the healthcare space? I see a lot of CVs every week, hundreds of them, day in, day out, as to the team here. 90% of them are rubbish, and it does make a difference to your career as to how good your CV is or isn't. So I've got a couple of top tips for you today. I wrote a book on how to write a CV. It's part of a wider book on how to manage your sales career. If you're really interested in the wider book and the ebook on how to write your CV, drop us a note below and we'll send you the full mashings on how to prepare a top class CV that will get you interviews and jobs. So first things first, one, get rid of all that silly verbiage at the top. You know what I mean, the nonsense profile stuff. I'm a dedicated, hard-working, consultative, trusted advisor. Nobody cares. Get rid of it. The only reason that section is there is because in the Microsoft Word template, 30 years ago, Microsoft decided that's what you should write in a CV. That's why you write it, because Microsoft are telling you, not because you've decided that that best represents or creates a statement about whether you are or aren't any of the facts that you've put in. No one reads it, it irritates people, and it opens you up to questioning in an interview around statements you make that you may not necessarily be able to substantiate. Two, for each job that you've been in, state the following. One, when you started and when you left. Date, month to and from. Two, what you sold or sell there. Three, who you sell it to. C, what a typical deal value is. D, how much of what you do is new business and how much of it is existing client business. Next, of the new business that you do do, how do you generate it? Do you do it via cold calling? Do you do it via networking? Be specific. Give examples of how you opened opportunities. If you're a new business hunter and you're good at picking up the phone and cold calling and selling to people, my God, tell people, tell the world and tell them in your CV. If you're not, if you're a good networker, if you're a brilliant user of LinkedIn and you've worked out some sort of LinkedIn secret source, explain it in your CV. Don't just put a load of rubbish verbiage that is a rewrite of what was a Microsoft Word stroke LinkedIn template. That's not how it's done. Next example is to write some examples of deals you've won the value of the deal, and a quick pricey of how you won it and how you made a difference as to whether it would or wouldn't have been won. And finally, your year-on-year -year target achievement. <gasps> you gasp. How do I write my year-on-year -year target achievement? I didn't hit my target in 2018. It's okay. I'll talk to you more about what to do when you've missed the target on the next newsletter. But I promise you, nobody minds if you've hit your target. A client Every hiring manager out there in the country, psychologically, would rather interview and hire a salesperson who has got their last 10 years of achievement against target, whether they've won, lost, or drawn, than somebody who hasn't. Because they know the person who's done it, targets matter to them. Sales targets matter to them. Winning business matters to them. So if you're interested and you want a more detailed overview of how to write a CV, I've written a guide. It's a pretty detailed old thing, as those of you who know me now, I tend to go into a lot of detail on these things, but it is a really good ebook on putting together a truly professional CV. I've got examples and all sorts of stuff. So if you're interested, and you want to find out more, there's a link below. Drop us your name and one of the guys will get a copy across to you. Bye.